Listen carefully, Leonidas. Xerxes conquers and controls everything he rests his eyes upon. I can make you rich beyond all measure. All the God King Xerxes requires is this, a simple offering of earth and water, a token of Sparta's submission to the will of Xerxes. I will make a warlord of all Greece. A beast approaches. It was King Leonidas himself who provoked it. We must be diplomatic. And of course, Spartans have their reputation to consider. Choose your next words carefully, Leonidas. Madness. Earth and water. This is Spartans! What is your profession? Manufactured by 300 years of Spartan warrior society. Is this all of them? As you ordered. 300. To create the finest soldiers the world has ever known. Ugogi, as it's called. Into the hot gates we march. Submission. Into that narrow corridor we march. Where Xerxes' numbers count for nothing. Bundled into this narrow corridor. The idea of kneeling. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Spartans! Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. My king! Oh. But tonight, we dine in hell! We fight as a single, impenetrable unit. That is the source of our strength. Today, no Spartan dies! Pleasure! Each Spartan takes the man to his left. No mercy! Thigh to neck. Shield. Wave after wave of Persian attack smash against Spartan shields. Come and get them! In the end, ah! the strength is the warrior next to him. A single weak spot and the phalanx shatters. Burst! Spartans! Prepare for glory! Our superior fighting skills and the terrain of Greece herself to destroy them. We do what we were trained to do, what we were bred to do, toward the death and the battlefield, in service to Sparta. What we were born to do is the greatest glory he could achieve in his life. For more than glory, such mad hope, but there it is. Against Asia's endless hordes, against all odds, we can do it. We can hold the hot gates. We can win. No sleep tonight. Not for the king. Pray to the winds. Sparta will fall. Oh, Greece will fall. I saw those ships smashed on the rocks. How can this be? There can be no victory here. This battle is over, Leonidas. Hundreds leave. A handful stay. This battle is over when I say it is over. Why do you smile? I've fought countless times. Yet I've never met an adversary who could offer me what we Spartans call a beautiful death. I can only hope, with all the world's warriors gathered against us, there might be one down there. Who's up to the task? There is no glory to be had now! Only retreat or surrender! Or death! But that's an easy choice for us, Arcadian! Spartans never retreat! They're taught never to retreat. Never to surrender. Spartans never surrender! No retreat. No surrender. That is Spartan law. And by Spartan law, we will stand and fight and die. Sparta wages no war at the time of the Carnage. Sparta will burn! 
Her men will die in arms, and her women and children will be slaves or worse. Then what must a king do to save his world when the very laws he has sworn to protect force him to do nothing? It's quiet now. It is not a question of what a Spartan citizen should do, nor a husband, nor a king. Instead, ask yourself, my dearest love, what should a free man do? What should we do? What can we do? What can you do? We march. For our lands. For our families. For our freedoms. Come back with your shield. Or on it. Yes, my lady. We march. I will we race into the memory of Sparta from the histories. The old ones say we Spartans are descended from Hercules himself. The world will know that free men stern against a tyrant. Old Leonidas gives testament to our bloodline. That few stood against many. His roar is long and loud. Why, every very name of Sparta or Leonidas will be punished for death. A new age has begun. The world will never know you existed at all. An age of freedom. All his 40 years have been a straight road to this one gleaming moment in destiny. We are with you, sire! For Sparta! For freedom! This one radiant clash of shield and spear, sword and bone and flesh and blood. To the death! And all who know the 300 Spartans gave their last breath! Oh. An honor to die at your side. To defend it! It's an honor to have lived. Yours, my love. Oh, King Lear!